Forecast first on Color 10 News. Well, an ugly morning gave way to some sun this afternoon. Really kind of a nice finish to our day. Temperatures did manage to warm into the low to mid 60s over southwest Missouri, and northern Arkansas. Check out Rollo, the high today only 50 degrees, and uh, that was because of cloudy skies. Uh, maybe a little bit of late day sun before the clouds uh, finally moved out. Temperatures there are a little cooler than, than other spots. 46 right now in Rollo here in Springfield, 50, low 50s in Joplin. As we work through the rest of the night, temperatures will continue to slowly slide into the 40s. And we're going to start off our Tuesday with some jacket weather. You're probably going to need one early on, about 48. We'll find mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Temperatures will warm into the low 60s by lunchtime. Looks like highs tomorrow up around. 70 degrees, less wind on Tuesday as well. And then we deal with more rain and maybe more flooding on Wednesday. Details coming up. Color 10 News at 10 starts now. You're watching Color 10 News at 10 in high definition. With water finally cleared off the road, crews have started the tedious process of repairing Interstate 44 between Lebanon and Rolla. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Kielman. Good to have you along here on Color 10, everybody. I'm David Oliver. As we continue our storm coverage now, our Daniel Shedd has a closer look at what it's going to take to get the busy interstate open once again. Artifacts like this hubcap are just small indications that this part of I-44 east of Lebanon was underwater just 24 hours ago. The water actually cleared this part of I-44 around 9 o'clock this morning. That's when construction crews were able to hit the roads and start the repair process. We saw earlier a milling process, which was taking up old parts of asphalt, milling that up and hauling it away. We also saw crews repairing the old guardrail, which was actually swept into the Gasconade River upstream. Now, MoDOT crews do hope to repave up to four inches of asphalt on this section of I-44, possibly starting tomorrow morning. However, that's hindering on whether or not the weather cooperates. Reporting in I-44 just east of Lebanon, Daniel Shedd, Color 10 News, Ozarks First. And after declaring a state of emergency in response to flash flooding, Missouri's top leader toured damage in the Show Me State. Governor Eric Greitens made a stop in Neosho to view the damage. This weekend's severe flooding marks one of the first major natural disasters for the governor. Greitens also used the opportunity to thank all of those first responders for their heroic efforts to pull residents out of flood waters. The men and women who you see behind me were responsible for saving lives here in Neosho, throughout Newton County, and really throughout Southwest Missouri. Uh, we are so blessed to have so many extraordinary first responders who in situations like this are willing to put their lives on the line to save people. And the governor was then planning on touring the damage in West Plains, but was unable to make it due to road conditions. And in fact, many of the roads outside of West Plains are impassable tonight. Of course, Highway 63, that's the main route into West Plains. Well, it has been closed now for some time. MoDOT and the Highway Patrol say it's likely going to stay that way for many days to come. MoDOT says the flooded road will need to be pumped clear and the flood water will not recede on its own. Today, U.S. Congressman Jason Smith spoke with Color 10 about the excess water blocking off many routes throughout the Ozarks. We're still waiting for the waters to rescind in a lot of places, and they're still rising, and the rivers haven't crest to their maximum capacity in some, some situations. The Highway Patrol also told reporters today even the country roads that have served as a detour in West Plains are now out of commission thanks to flood damage and overuse in the absence of Highway 63. Those county roads are currently being rebuilt. And extreme flooding at the Table Rock Lake has caused the closure of the Kimberling City Bridge for the first time in 40 years. Officials say the reason isn't because water is over the surface of the bridge, but rather as a result of the water putting pressure on the sides of the structure. The closure will cause headaches and long drive times for people who live and work on opposite sides of the bridge. Around 8,000 people cross that bridge every day, and at this point, it's unknown how long it might be closed. So here's a current look for you right now at the MoDOT Traveler's Information Map. You can see there on your screen, there are still several flooded out icons on the roads there in the Ozarks. So be sure and check that map before you head to your destination. You can find a link to that map on our website. You can find us at OzarksFirst.com. Well, one of the hardest hit communities is West Plains, and the folks at First Baptist Church in West Plains have been lending a hand to their fellow man. Uh, the church has now become a sanctuary to about 150 people. The shelter is offering donated clothing, meals, and housing to flood victims. Members of the church tell us they've been watching others' compassion rolling in all afternoon. So we have people who have come in who have completely lost their homes. 
They don't have anything. We've had kids come in holding onto their life jackets still. Well, the Office of Emergency Management says West Plains got 9.2 inches of rain in just six hours. The numbers are just incredible. Jamie's back with us right now to talk about this week's rain, which is only going to add insult to injury, right? Right, and, and let's take a look at a map of our river basins because we kind of reside on a geographically unique location in the United States. It's the Ozarks. I-44 basically sits on the spine of uh, the Ozark Plateau and areas generally north of I-44, the river basins tend to flow toward the north and then into the Missouri, while areas to the south, the river basins tend to flow south, eventually into the White River Basin and then eventually into the Mississippi River. So, so where the rain falls is important. Uh, the bad news is this upcoming Wednesday, it looks like that rain event may be situated over just about all of the Ozarks. So while some of that rain will move north into the Osage River Basin, a lot of that water will, I think, find its way into the White River Basin, impacting areas that have been very, very hard hit, like West Plains, uh, and also areas like Southwest Missouri in the Cassville area. So this is yet a, a, another event coming up on Wednesday because of how much flooding we've already seen that we could be looking at some major concerns uh, with the rain that will be moving through then. We'll be watching it for sure, Jamie. I know you'll be watching it in our weather lab. And we want to mention that in response to all this flooding that we've seen across the region, the Springfield Green County Emergency Management office is going to be activating its public information call center once again. It's open tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. so you can report any damage on your property. The phone number is 417-829-6200. Again, 417-829-6200.